Tonight, Huntsville police are looking for the man in this surveillance image who's accused of cashing counterfeit checks. Investigators determined this is William Fermaski. Less than a day after we showed you his picture, Fermaski isn't the only one in trouble for the crime we learned. Matthew Beavers is in the Madison County Jail tonight on a $75,000 bond. Police said that he also cashed the fake checks but didn't think the two men knew each other. Way 31 Sydney Martin talked to one of the victim's neighbors and learned from police that this can happen easier than you might think. Huntsville police said investigators determined one of the men was actually stealing mail from people's mailboxes. Then he found checks inside, made his own counterfeit checks, and then started cashing them. Nearly $6,000. That's how much Huntsville police determined Matthew Beavers was able to walk away with after stealing people's mail and making checks with their routing number, checking account number, and signature. I didn't even know that was possible. I mean, I, ca I thought checks were kind of safe. Huntsville police identified at least two of Beaver's victims and told us he's currently charged with six felonies but could face more charges. It's scary. You don't, I mean, it's quiet out here. I never expect anything bad to really happen. Huntsville police told us this man, William Fromansky, is seen in this surveillance image after cashing about $4,000 worth of counterfeit checks. It's very easy to identify these individuals because all banks use very uh, good quality CCTV in their lobbies. Um, so it kind of begs the question is why somebody would even attempt to commit a crime like this. Johnson told us catching criminals on surveillance cameras is easy. But Oliger told us she has questions as to why both men were able to do this without a problem. Because you have to go in, you have to show your ID. Those safety checks are something police said not all banks in the area are doing. If the checks and balances and first offenses aren't there, that's what gets the cash into the criminal's hands when they walk out of the bank. Oliger told us she hopes the man that stole her neighbor's information learns his lesson. I hope he's punished for taking innocent people's, you know, money they worked really hard for, and maybe he should get a job to <laughs> be able to make his own money. Huntsville police said the man that they're still looking for, they haven't determined how he got these counterfeit checks and if he was stealing mail as well. In Madison County, Sydney Martin, Way 31 News. Huntsville police told us that if you notice any suspicious activity with your bank account, they're urging you to contact them or your bank. As for the victims, police told us the banks reimbursed them.